Hi folks, Duke here with the Queens Botanical Garden here to talk a little bit about pond ecosystems here in the state of New York. Now today I'm at the Granary Pond on the Granary Pond Farm Reserve and today I got a little friend here called the Largemouth Bass. Now, the Largemouth Bass is a native fish to New York State and we can often see them in New York City. You don't have to go out into nature like this and find one in the pond. They can be found in Prospect Park Lake as well as the lakes in Central Park. So if you're up to it, get yourself a fishing license and go out there and have a good time. But remember, in the city of New York, we need to use a barbless hook, meaning that there are no sharp edges around your hook, and that way you can practice a safe release out of the mouth. Largemouth bass obviously likes areas like this pond here, and they typically like these tall kind of grass. These are irises, and what they'll do is they'll kind of rest, and, kind of, and right now it's their mating season, so they'll kind of dig up little plots underneath these plants kick it around with their tail fin in order to keep their baby safe throughout the season. Here we can see the little baby bass I was able to find in the little plots under the irises, also known as a nest. Now before the baby bass looks like a fish, it comes out of an egg, and this guy right here is probably roughly around maybe three to four weeks, could be a little older. Now that we got a good look at baby, let's take a look at daddy. <laughs> All right, here's the old top now, and as you can see, it camouflages real well into its natural habitat. On the top of the fish, right, it's really dark and a forest green. And as we move towards the lateral line, it kind of changes into a nice olive green and almost to a nice fainted yellow. Now let's take a look and see why this guy's called the largemouth bass by getting a close-up of that big old mouth. And believe it or not, these fish actually do have tongues, and you can see it rest on the tip of my thumb there, as well as little itty bitty teeny tiny teeth all along the ridge of its mouth and its mandible. And the gill rakers also help kind of sift out any debris that might flow inside of its mouth. So before we let this guy go, let's take a quick little peek at some of the things it eats. Besides other smaller fish, maybe a crawfish and some other smaller kinds of shrimp, the largemouth bass relies heavily on insects. Dragonflies are one of the many insects that a largemouth bass may go after, and here we can see how dragonflies have reached its final instar, molting off some of its old skin, and becoming that big winged bug that we are so used to seeing. All right, folks, now I was also able to find us a little tadpole here, or as the locals like to call it, a polywog. Now these guys, right, make sure if you ever handle them, your hands are clean, they're free of any oils or any sort of chemicals, right, because these guys are real sensitive. So as you can see, this is the tadpole stage, and eventually he'll turn into a frog. Now both the polywog and the full adult frog are food for our fine fish friend here. But now it's time to set them free. Go, right? When you put them back in the water, they're going to be pretty aggressive, but you gently let them go. Feed a little bit of water into their gills. All right, I'm letting go of his tail fin. All right, he's getting adjusted back into the pond here. He's starting to bite my finger a little bit here. And there he goes. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the little video about some of the native wildlife here in New York State. But don't forget, everything you saw in this video, you can also find in New York City. So, mask up. Practice safe social distancing and take a walk in your neighborhood park, maybe Prospect Park or Central Park if you can. Out in Queens, there's a lot of little ponds just like this in many of the little parks. Take a look, see, Father's Day is coming up, so maybe get yourself a fishing license. Below, I'll leave a link to where you can get your New York State fishing license. From Mr. Frog and myself, thank you for watching, and special thanks to the Ireland family for letting us shoot this little video here at their pond.